Now, for more on Kerry's two-day visit in Beijing, we're now joined in the studio by Mr. Liu Fa from China Institute of International Studies. Welcome to our program, Mr. Liu. You're welcome. Well, quite obviously that yeah. the DPRK mm -hmm. nuclear program is one of the top priorities mm -hmm. of discussions between uh, John Kerry and uh, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, indeed. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. U US Secretary of State earlier uh, has uh, quite obviously uh, hinted that mm -hmm. he's going to try to seek a tougher stance mm -hmm. from China concerning the DPRK's nuclear program. Well, China actually uh, has been uh, reiterating its uh, stance of denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Well, in term, uh, under this circumstance, how do you think the nuclear program of DPRK can be solved? We have to get the facts clear mm -hmm. from the very beginning. Ever since the latest bomb test by the DPRK, the government has uh, listed two preconditions for the resumption of the talks mm -hmm. on this regarding this issue. One is the signing of the peace treaty. The second is the stop of the joint military exercises. Right. These are the two things which are easily, easily to be done by mm -hmm. the United States and its allies, mm -hmm. but they are not doing anything. Mm -hmm. China as always being is not a direct party to it. So the right approach for the issue is for the U.S. to resume the talks with the DPRK, which is the obligation, because the real issue is between the two, the critical issue I, I uh, wanted to point out. And secondly, the international community, including China, should stand together as a team to let the DPRK know that the continuation of the nuclear uh, testing is not tolerable. Uh, last but not least, the peaceful talks is the only way out. Mm -hmm. uh, Secretary uh, Kerry uh, stated uh, on many occasions that China could do everything to fix it. You know, it's the wrong approach from the wrong angle. You know, the. Uh, the bilateral assistance from China to Pyongyang is based on the, uh, the uh, we call it the normal framework mm -hmm. of the bilateral relations. Mm -hmm. Nuclear issue is only one part of the bilateral relations. I'm sure U.S. has some countries which are not. It does not risk everything just mm -hmm. to, for the same issue. Mm -hmm. So uh, my uh, take is uh, U.S. are taking the wrong. Mm -hmm you know, tactics from mm -hmm. the run angles. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we'll see how, what achievements can be made. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Wait and see, yeah. uh, to see if any fruitful achievements can be made this time in terms of this matter. Uh, we'll be getting back to you yeah. in a moment, Mr. Liu. And